In this video series, we are going to see about the UI and UX design subject and this subject comes in Amnesty 2021 regulation in verticals. So, um, in this video series, we are going to cover five units. And the first unit is the foundation of design. And uh, these are the following topics which are going to be covered in this unit. So basically, we have to know about what is an UI and UX. So UI is uh, the user interface. That is the visual or interactive elements which we are going to through see through our eyes. So whatever we are going to view is comes under the user interface design. That is, when a design is going to develop a mobile application or web pages, they have to uh, understand the requirements of the customer and they have to design in a manner which, which should be a pleasant, uh, which should give a pleasant feel to the user. So that is the main idea of the user interface. And when we come into UX, that is an user experience design. So user experience means uh, the user has to uh, experience when they, so when they are going to access the mobile application or the page, how they feel to access this application whether it is gives them an easy way to access or it, it gives really a very hard to access. So those things will be considered and these um, will be, designs will be improvised in a sequential manner every time. So this is one of the primary role design in a, a software or a mobile application nowadays. So, um, uh, what is the, uh, here uh, there is a traditional design method, the UX design method. When we compare with the traditional method, that is a uh, um, earlier stage, the, when we want to develop a project, so we will uh, sit with the client or customers and we will collect some requirements, uh, what they need from the project, how the project should be, have to look. So we have to sit with many discussions and we finally we frame and draft and we will start working um, coding, developing the project. And uh, this project will be um, lastly presented to the client or customer. So if they feel something, uh, whether they, they might not like the color of the screen or uh, they might not like the positions of the buttons or the uh, text boxes, so whatever it may be. Um, so what we have to do, then we have to again redesign it. Or sometimes they feel that a page should be traveling in such a manner. That is, it should travel from uh, page 1 to 5 or 1 to 4 or 2 to 5. So the transmission of pages, there is a small collaborations. So those things will be, have to be reworked uh, continuously. To avoid these problems, nowadays they prefer this UI and UX designs where uh, we priorly design the user interface and we also give the user experience how it's going to work and how the web page is going to travel. Uh, each section of the page is how you can access the every links and buttons in this uh, user interface. So this will avoid the cost of the product development and also time it also saves the times of developing the project. So this is an, one of the successive waves and it has been adopted by many industries nowadays. And there is a lot of scope for the students who prefer this uh, area of UA and UX design. Okay. So as we have said, user experience, that is uh, how the experience make the user feel and how easy it is for the user to accomplish their desired task. So when we go and access some, when we are going to buy some shares in Flipkart or Amazon, so some users prefer to buy in Flipkart and some users prefer to buy in Amazon. Even though the rate of the product is same and the service provider is also same, but the Sometimes uh, they prefer to buy only in Flipkart. Some, some they prefer to buy with Amazon. Why they come to this decision? Because of the experience with, you know, when buying the previous products or the way the, uh, the pages attracted the customer and uh, how easy they are in 
to access the product. So that is one of the reason because of both are e-commerce website and both provide every uh, every products I mean, we require. Mm -hmm. So there is a slight difference when we when a customer wants to access the product, they feel comfortable with something. So they prefer to buy. So this comes. Uh, this is a basic, simple example for a, a user experience. Also, we can take about banking. So many when we go in offline mode to banks, you can feel the experience and the managers or the processing processing speed. Some will like the private banks and some are very uh, convenient with the public sector banks. So based upon the user needs and how they experience when going to those banks, uh, it all it, it gradually depends upon the user experience. So they prefer the, they make the choices right. So that's how we have to analyze the user experience and we have to go for the design works. So this is one of the main parameters. So when we going for design, what proper things we need to concentrate? We have to do the user research, how the user is going to access and what are the elements or components of what in this design, how usability, how friendly the design is going to be and how the navigation system is going to work and the interfaces structuring and designing and latest designs and latest colorings and latest elements tools. So everything comes under the design. So um, it is common for both the uh, UI and UX designers. So the main objective of user experience is user engagement is one of the main experience. So when when a customer is going to access our web page or a mobile application, they should be engaged. Uh, they should not struggle uh, to access those um, elements. So they should be engaged enough. That is the main responsibility of the UX designer. And it should be very easy to access for usability should be very easy. So they can easily navigate with the screens. And every design page should be consistent. They should follow some predefined structure. And we have to prevent the errors. And also we have to, based upon, collect the feedbacks so that we can improve ourselves. And then the clarity should be, visual clarity should be very clean, neat. They should not be confusing the feed and better. It should be flexible for the user. So that is, uh, they can, they have, they have to feel that they can do anything with this easily. They can buy an our product easily with um, some e-commerce website or they can order the food very easily. For even if they are new to the site, it must be very easy and familiar process. So these are the things they have main objective of the UX design. And uh, these are various tasks and responsibilities so of a designer um, when they consider about the UX designer and uh, let's see uh, this is a simple wireframe model of a web page so this is the structure of a web page and the structure should be maintained whenever we design you go for a design so you think uh, yourself you should not think yourself that is I am mean, creative and I can place uh, various elements anywhere and uh, so it's not like that. So if they are following some uh, basic parameters like templates. So if if you follow those and uh, if you also follow those strings, it will be easily accessible for the user. So when we consider it to be uh, something like uh, donation pages, so if you create a template similar to your previous donation pages, then customer will easily access and they can know what you are going to do and that uh, amount and uh, and they can easily they can easily access you the contact information and they can the payment should be very easy in a familiar way so the design should be majorly familiar so it can be this familiarity can be obtained only through the following its uh, basic template designs so this is one of the example for a page and this is for mobile apps and design or this is a wireframe diagram. So here we can see that uh, how the navigation can be done between various different schemes. So based upon which conditions 
they do and based upon the then um, the screens will navigate and uh, it, these things should be uh, designed by the UI and UX designers and uh, this is a simple and this uh, this is a very attractive user interface design and uh, these kind of designs are always welcome and we can learn more about this in upcoming uh, sessions so this is about UI interface that is we have seen about user experience and here this is user interface it's mainly deals about icons buttons typography is nothing but text and color schemas spacing images and responsive presents how it's going to look feel and be interacting for a customer so that is a main perspective of developing the user interface so let's see upcoming uh, contents in the next video. Thank you.